What is the better camera to take photos of the moon? Is it the Samsung S23 Ultra or the Canon DSLR? How's it going guys? Welcome to Koifman Photo. Today is August 30th, 2023. Behind me is a super blue moon. Let's find out what is the better camera to shoot with on 2023. The Samsung S23 Ultra, the moon zoom camera, or the old DSLR 7D with 70 to 300 millimeter lens. Let's find out what is the better camera to shoot the blue moon with in 2023 on the super blue moon day. And is this phone worth the hype? Let's put the cameras on the tripods and Photograph the moon. First, 7D with 7 to 300 millimeter lens. Looks good so far. Let's see if we can have a little uh, delay. After we shoot, we should have the two seconds delay boom we got our image can zoom in looks like it usually looks here is a photo with a 7d which is a crop sensor and we have 70 to 300 lens needed to zoom in a little bit to get this um, this is as good as this uh, camera photographs the moon we can see details there we have it let's go back uh, put it in uh, Adobe Lightroom and uh, see if we can uh, make uh, this photo look a, a bit better it takes time and effort to put these videos together so I would really appreciate you like and subscribe. Thank you. All right, now let's look at the Samsung S23 Ultra. S23 Ultra, let's see what this camera has to offer. Let's just go in the basic photo mode. As you can tell, most people will not be taking photos using a tripod. We take pictures of the moon. All right, we're at 38 magnification now. Now we're at 80 X magnification. So let's also have a two second delay like we did on 7D. And let's see what we get. Okay, once again, with 80 X magnification. And that's the picture we got with the Samsung S23 Ultra, the moon zoom camera. S23 Ultra, we're in the pro mode right now. Still two seconds delay. Let's zoom in. See if we get anything better now. Nope, in the pro mode it only goes to 10x. Okay, once again we're in the photo mode. Zooming in, lenses were switched, lenses were switched. We're at 90x right now. Taking photo. One, two, boom. Super blue moon photo with Samsung S23 Ultra. Let's see what it looks like. All right, this is the result. This is the result we get with Samsung S23 Ultra can go back, put these photos in the Lightroom, edit them a little bit, see what we get. We're still in the Samsung S23 Ultra. We're taking the pictures at 200 megapixel mode. Let's see what that looks like. At 200 megapixel mode, I can only zoom in 6x. Let's switch to 50 megapixel mode. At 50 megapixel, I can also only zoom in 6x phone has definitely an advantage of the screen was the screen look at the size of the screen right here 
and look on the size of the DSLR screen. There is definitely better ways to manage the photo you just took on the phone than you do with the with the camera. So there is definitely an advantage there, but we still need to go back into the software and tweak and see which picture actually better quality shows more details on the moon. Here we go. The, this is this is uh, the photo of the moon taken by uh, Samsung S23 Ultra. It was already sharpened um, and modified a little bit in Adobe Lightroom. Uh, you can see that uh, the features of the moon are visible, but they are not coming up very sharp. This is a photo of the moon taken by uh, Canon 7D DSLR with 70 to 300 uh, millimeter lens. You can see that uh, the features here are shown up better after uh, editing in Lightroom and uh, sharpening, sharpening the image a little bit. For example, you can see the Tycho crater, you can see the Copernicus crater, you can see the Kepler crater, and also you can see the ocean of storms as well as of the sea of crises on this image right here. I think this picture looks pretty good and um, I probably would take the image taken with a Canon DSLR over the image of uh, the moon taken by Samsung S23 Ultra. I think S23 Ultra does an amazing job without having all that gear to drag around. Uh, but still, in 2023, telephoto lens is still better than uh, the digital enhancements made by uh, the phone cameras. If you agree with me or if you disagree with me, uh, feel free to leave comments below. Uh, and I would love to read them. And I'll respond to all of you. All right, thank you for watching the video. Make sure to uh, subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot.